reactivity. In chemistry, mainly inorganic and organic, we have two types of questions distinctly. One is theoretical questions. The other one are reactions. What do you mean by theoretical questions? For instance, in our earlier classes, we have discussed SO2. So many things about SO2 we discussed. To start with, the oxidation state sulfur plus 4 and the structure double bond O, double bond O. It has two sigma bonds and two pi bonds and sulfur has a lone pair, two bond pair and one lone pair. Therefore, it has a bent structure, the geometry, the sigma bonds, the pi bonds, lone pair, oxidation state and one of the pi bonds is indeed a d pi p pi bond, a pi bond in which d orbital of sulfur is involved and since you have a lone pair, wherever there is a lone pair, the molecule is said to be polar except of course, x e f 2 and x e f 4. If you have a lone pair, the molecule is said to be polar. So, these are all theoretical aspects and one more, the sulfur dioxide is diamagnetic. How can we know? You know the total number of electrons is odd number diamagnetic. So, we discuss the structure, the shape, the hybridization whether it is polar or not, the number of d pi p pi bonds and the hybridization 6 plus 0 by 2 which is 3 sp 2. So, the formula for hybridization, the rule for polarity, the number of d pi p pi bonds, the number of lone pairs, the structure, the oxidation state, the magnetic nature and you also know that sulfur dioxide is an acidic oxide. How can you know that acidic? Acidic because it is a non metal oxide and uh, it is an anhydride of H2SO3. When you remove water from an acid called sulfurous acid, you get SO2. These are mostly the theoretical aspects, it is all good. But how does SO2 react with uh, K2Cr2O7? The big question. In fact, many of you, many of you might even think that inorganic means reactions or rather chemistry means reactions, how a substance reacts with the other and uh, you are not wrong when you consider things like that. So, we indeed spent a lot of time in theoretical aspects, but only these theoretical aspects only will decide the reactivity. So, we have to learn reactions not in isolation, not one reaction after the other, which will become our task very difficult, very difficult. Like uh, there are so many reactions, how can we remember all those things? We can only know the mentality of an element, mentality of a compound. Why compounds and elements react the way they do? So, SO2, you have sulfur in its plus 4 oxidation state and you already know there is a lone pair a lone pair which will uh, cause uh, repulsion to the bond pairs. Therefore, the mentality of SO2 is more to use those two electrons also. So, we study the reacting mentality which is called reactivity and that is how only we go about the task of reactions of organic and in inorganic basically.